we present SACS Navigator. This tool is designed for the exploration of large and complex time series datasets through hierarchical clustering. This app is designed for three tasks. Explore clusters of data to see general trends and relationships. Look at the metadata for individual time series within a cluster to see similarities and detect anomalies. Query based on specific observations or patterns within the data. In order to explore time series data sets based on their patterns, we use hierarchical clustering to create a tree diagram. We start by passing raw time series data to an implementation of the SACS algorithm. The SACS algorithm is a dimensionality reduction method that transforms the time series into a sequence of letters. Finally, we're able to produce a dendrogram from hierarchical clustering using SACS-based string representations of the time series. The navigation bar at the top shows a brief description of the application, the querying tools, and the legend for the tree view. If we collapse the navigation bar, we can launch into exploring our dataset via the tree view. This dendrogram realization shows the results of hierarchical clustering. The tree can be explored by zooming and panning across the screen. The tree consists of a network of branches and nodes. Starting at the root, we see a cluster containing all time series in our dataset. Each node is represented by a circle that indicates the number of observations at that node. Beside the node lies a heat map which is an aggregation of all the time series within the cluster. Darker boxes indicate a higher density of observations at that specified value in time. Overall, the heat map shows the general shape of the observations in that cluster. Following the branches connecting the nodes, we see how the clusters divide into smaller, more similar groups. We can explore the individual observations within a cluster by hovering over the node. Turning our attention to the cluster display, we can explore the time series and metadata for individual observations in that cluster. Finally, we have the option to query specific names or IDs using the drop-down menu or search for specific patterns using the grid. To use the grid, you can create a pattern by clicking on the boxes. Your search results are then shown on the tree via the highlighted branches. Please consult the paper for further details. Thank you.